Hello, I'm Juliette Sear, and today I'm going to show you how to make spooky ghost cake pops. So I've got my pre-made brownie here, it's really nice and fudgy. I'm just going to take some of the brownie out of the bowl. I'm just trying to stick it together and make a rough ball shape. It's a really fun thing to do with kids because they love getting stuck in. We're going to be dipping these in a coating using the Dr. Erka Fine Cooks chocolate and a little bit of vegetable oil. Take a cake pop stick and dip it in this first. Once I've got those sticks in, I can pop those onto a plate and I would then place them in the refrigerator for at least half an hour to an hour. I've got my cake pops here, pre-chilled. I'm just going to plunge this into your chocolate mixture and then just tap very, very gently on the side of the bowl just to get the excess chocolate off of the cake pop. Now another handy tip that I like to do is use a piece of polystyrene just so you can hold it up so it can set. So once I've coated all of my cake pop balls and they're set, I can go back again and do another coating in exactly the same way. So now I'm going to roll out some Dr. Urka Regal Ice Ready to Roll White Icing. So I'm just going to take my rolling pin and push onto my icing and just keep rolling out until I get a nice thin piece. I'm looking for a few millimetres thickness. There we go. So now I'm going to cut some circles. If you don't have a cutter, you can always just cut round a bowl or a glass. You don't have to use a cutter. So now I need to stick these onto my cake pops. I'm going to use a little bit of the Dr. Urka designer icing. You don't have to use this. Anything to make it sticky, a bit of apricot jam would be fine. There we go. So that's my first one. So I'm just going to just encourage the icing to come down, so really, really easy. I'm just going to now leave these to set for a couple of hours. You could even leave them overnight. So now I'm going to add some personality to my ghost cake pops by painting faces on them. I'm just going to use a tiny bit of Dr. Urka black gel colour, tiny touch of water, just to kind of make it slightly looser so I can make it into an edible paint. And now I'm going to create some spooky faces. So I'm happy with him, I think he's finished. I'm just going to give all of the other ones some nice expressions and then leave them to dry. And they'll be all ready for Halloween or to give away as gifts. 